These are the craziest NFL training camp fights in the last 20 years, starting with wide receiver Des Bryant and the Cowboys in 2015, where he exchanged punches with his teammate, Tyler Patton. They had to be held back, and this happened in front of their fans. However, afterwards, they assured us it's all in fun. We're family, man. It's just intense out here. It's training camp. You still love each other? Of course, no doubt. In 2014, punches were thrown between Seahawks cornerback Richard Sherman and wide receiver Phil Bates. Luckily, they shared a laugh and moved past it afterwards. Two big guys on the Tennessee Titans, Albert Hainsworth and Zach Piller, fought not just once, but twice in the same practice. They both appeared exhausted afterward, so at least it was good cardio. A Raiders fan got involved in a Cowboys Raiders brawl at joint practice in 2014. The fan tried to swing a helmet at Cowboys cornerback B.W. Webb, who said, quote, I don't know why fans would want to jump on this side of the fence. I don't think they'd like it too much on this side. Raiders owner Mark Davis responded to the news by saying, quote, nothing better than Raiders fans. Hey, fuck you. A famous 2015 brawl occurred in a joint practice between the Washington Redskins and Houston Texans. Two small fights happened on two separate fields, but then players joined together for one big brawl. You can see, you just saw, hey, you just saw on the screen right there a running back just absolutely now, hammered. Now there's a fight directly behind us. Yeah. And see, because it's this, on these the are field. benches clearing but see, now. I, but I see, I'll tell you what, see, this is counterproductive now. The Texans defensive lineman J.J. Watt shared some wise words about the brawl. Football is a, uh, a violent game. Anybody that tells you otherwise is lying to you. In 2023, Taylor Swift's boyfriend and Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey swings at a teammate just for trying to punch out the football. Kelsey was not punished, but did say he's got to be a better teammate, got to be a better leader, plain and simple. At the Rams versus Chargers 2017 joint practice, the Rams defensive back started the brawl by pushing a Chargers wide receiver. The crowd absolutely loves seeing Chargers wide receiver Keenan Allen straight body slam Rams corner Nickel Roby Coleman. A shorter second fight broke out later with cornerback EJ Gaines. Famous WWE wrestler Brock Lesnar was known for suplexing opponents. Suplex City. So it was inevitable that when he entered the NFL in 2004 with the Minnesota Vikings, he would eventually suplex a Chiefs offensive lineman. It was the highlight of his short NFL career. In 2019 on HBO's Hard Knocks, of course, Rams defensive tackle Aaron Donald started a fight against Raiders guard Gabe Jackson. This later led to a massive brawl. Richie Incognito, now a reformed, calm veteran, criticized fighting at practice. Let me, let me speak some life knowledge to you, man. Hey, it's not worth it. Count to 10. Let me tell you what I learned about in counseling. Just count to 10. You can tell practice is getting heated when someone like Incognito becomes the voice of reason. Quarterback Cam Newton and hothead corner Josh Norman fought as Panthers teammates ahead of the 2015 season. Come on, come on. Hit me like that again. Newton looks psychotic as he held a smile while trying to choke out Norman.
Newton warned Norman, quote, hit me like that again, you'll know something. In 2018, at joint practices with the Jets and the Redskins, a massive brawl started because Jets corner Tremaine Johnson delivered a late hit on Redskins offensive lineman Morgan Moses. This even spilled over into the spectator area and alternate angles show small kids jumping out of the way. On the same day, a famous flinch occurred between Jets wide receiver Terrell Pryor and Redskins safety DJ Swearinger. Luckily for Pryor, this is only the second most famous flinch in Jets history, with quarterback Mark Sanchez getting spooked against the Bills. 16-point lead, they're making contact. Oh! Oh, man, that was awesome. In 2023, Aaron Donald was at the center of an unforgettable brawl during which he went full Miles Garrett and swung a Bengals helmet into a mass of Bengals players. This fight was so bad they ended practice immediately. Incredibly, Aaron Donald later commented on that fight, calling himself a peacemaker. You see me swing a helmet? Two <laughs> or did you just see me with a helmet? Two of them. Did you see me swing a helmet? Yeah, two of them. Did I swing the helmet? Did you see I, me? I, I saw I saw a projectile. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't even, I was the peacemaker that day. It just happened. I just, I don't know how. That was peaceful. I hate to say when you mad. During a 2018 joint practice between the Indianapolis Colts and the Baltimore Ravens, Colts linebacker Antonio Morrison knocked Ravens linebacker Albert McClain to the ground. McClain got up, threw Morrison down, and repeatedly punched him in the face, causing a massive brawl. Right there, right there. there you go. There you go. In the middle. Amid the chaos, you could see a helmet chucked across the field. We hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to me, Wi-Fi Willie, for more NFL content.